Hey you guys, it's Anneli and welcome to a new reading vlog. So this week, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reading The Lunar Chronicles. This is a series of fairy tale retellings set in space or in a futuristic world and it is written by Marissa Meyer. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I started reading The Lunar Chronicles last year during The Owls. I actually managed to reread the first three books during the spring slash summer season and now I'm on to the last book, Winter. So there's a reason why I have been keeping reading this book. Not because I don't like the series. I've actually read this before and I love it. It's one of the best book in the series. It is so good, but it is a beast. And I know it doesn't look like one, but it has over 800 pages. So I always had excuses. I felt like this was a big time commitment. And I was like, oh, I need to have time to read this. I need to find a time where I'm not busy, where I'm not doing a readathon or something like that. And it never felt like the right time. But now because I'm stuck at home because of coronavirus, I just think it's time for me to read this. I would also like to read Wires and Nerve, Volume 1 and 2. So this is a series of graphic novels that are set after the events of winter, right here, which is why I wanted to reread the series before I started reading those. So in those we're following Eco, who is not part of the main cast, of characters in the Lunar Chronicles but she's a pretty prominent character and she's also one of my favorites so I'm very excited that this is following her. She's an android so she's a robot and she has a lot of personality and I'm just very excited to finally read those as well. I'm really in the mood for them so that's a good thing because I absolutely love this series. It is probably one of my favorites if not my favorite. I just love it. I read the first three books in three days the first time I read them. I've reread the series countless times. This is the first time that I'll be rereading Winter though but I am very excited to finally be able to get into those. It is currently about 7 p.m. and I didn't make much progress with winter. I'm only on page like 24 or something like that. To be honest, I didn't really read much this afternoon. I went on a walk with my dad and then ran some errands. Then we came home, made dinner, and I did some research for a possible YouTube video that I might want to make. But now that brings us to here. I'm not necessarily like super in the mood to read. I'm kind of tired and it's probably because like we walked a lot today. I don't know why, but like the fresh hair and just like walking made me kind of tired. So I think I'm just going to chill and watch a Disney movie. And I've been doing this thing um, where I rewatch Disney movies in order of like release date. And uh, it's been really fun to do because I've been like seeing the evolution of like the Disney movies and just like seeing the techniques and like the colors and the stories and like it's been a fun experience so far and so I'm gonna be watching The Sword in the Stone. This is a movie that I'm onto and it's also one of my favorites. I don't know why I just have a lot of like fond memories of it and I feel like this little challenge that I'm doing where I'm watching Disney movies is really a great way for me to like relive my childhood memories so I've been really enjoying that. So I'm gonna make myself cozy. I have my blanket. <music> So it is the next day and I am currently on page 150 of winter. So last night I read about 100 pages and I continued reading a little bit today. I read about 50 pages today and I have so many feelings and emotions. So I am loving this right now. I made such a great decision to reread this. I am loving these characters so much. I am so glad to be back into this world. I love the banter between Cinder and Thorn. The tension between Cress and Thorn is killing me. And I just love all of these characters so much. I even like Winter and Jason. And I remember when I first read this book, I was kind of like, not skipping the chapters, but I wasn't as into their chapters as I am now. I still don't really like Jason, but Winter is such a sweet child and I love her. I would protect her with my life. I just... 
I love all of these characters so much. The only thing though is that I had kind of forgotten that this deals with a pandemic, like a plague. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was the best idea to pick this up at this moment, but I don't care. I'm here for the characters and it's not mentioned too much. It just, it got briefly mentioned and I was like, oh, <laughs> right. I forgot about that. I am loving the plot of this as well. I well be honest with you guys i forgot most of what this book was about like i don't remember much from the plot but i am enjoying the plot and just like the action i guess so much i feel like it's so well thought out of right now we are following all of these characters and all of these scenes are interconnected and i just i love the way it was done honestly it's such a masterpiece right now i love it so much but i'm only 150 pages in so like it's still too early to say if this is my favorite book in the series but so far it is like i love it so much the only downside of this book the only thing that i don't like so much about it is the bible thin pages let me show you look at this i hate this so much this book is like 800 pages but it's as big as the other books in this series which are right there see they look as big as winter like what even all right so i made it to page 202 and that means that i have finished book one basically this book is divided into different parts and they're all called like book one book two book three so on so forth and now i'm on to book two and let me just say without spoiling anything that i got so stressed for my baby crest and winter came through and i am living for all of these character interactions i'm so excited i i love this so much i wow a bunch of feelings and i'm probably just gonna be a big fangirl throughout this entire vlog it's gonna be just me fangirling 24 7 but oh my god i love this book wow hey guys so it is a tuesday and i have a couple of updates for you guys life update work update book updates just a lot of updates so let's get to it let's start with the book because this is what this is about so winter i'm currently on page 339 i just finished book two and i'm on to book three as you can maybe tell and i am absolutely loving this i love the characters in this book i love the different relationships and the dynamics between all of the characters i love everything it is so good oh my god i can understand why people think it's long though because we are following a lot of characters and while the plot is moving along like we have had a lot of stuff happen i also feel like we're very early on still in the book and i'm almost halfway i'm seeing a lot more similarities between between the original Snow White Tale and this book then I remembered. I don't know why I had forgotten a lot of this plot but very excited to continue reading this and I'm absolutely loving it. Now let's talk about other things. So this is my last week of work and I'm not so sure how I feel about it to be honest. It feels odd because I'm not really working since I'm kind of on hold and my boss actually talked to me today and he was like hey you know what if you want to finish early I completely understand and since we don't have much for you anyway like don't feel guilty and just like let me know when you want to finish and I'll let HR know and so I think tomorrow might be my last day. I might work on Thursday we'll see what happens there but since they really don't have anything for me I haven't been doing much like to be honest today the only thing that I did was watch The Office which I've decided to start rewatching. Also, on a side note, I started TikTok. I didn't really understand it at first, but I've kind of fallen into the trap of TikTok and now I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I'll leave my account down below if you guys want to check that out. I created my very first TikTok today and one of them, because I only created two, one of them already has like over 400 views and one of them has nearly 200 views and I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm very confused by this entire thing. I don't even know how it works truly, but it's been fun. I'm having fun with it and if you guys want to follow me there, I'll leave the link in the description box. Also, I've been passing time by doing some coloring. So I got this Disney coloring book. Uh, this is a Thomas Kincaid's Studios coloring book dreams collection and I'm obsessed with it I will do a flip through for you guys so you can get an idea but basically I really like how um, there's the original uh, image by the artist and on the other page you have like the coloring version so I've already started and I already colored this page so this is my version and this is the artist's version and now today I am working on another one which is this one i've been doing that while watching the office and not very far into this one but yeah i've been loving this loving coloring it's very soothing and relaxing and i'm loving it so right now i think i'm just going to continue doing a little bit of coloring while watching the office and then tonight we're going to get to reading <music>
Hi guys, so it is the next day. I'm currently on page 419 of winter and man, am I living for this. I feel like so much has happened in the past 80 pages alone and I just read a whole part about Kai and man, do I love this boy. <laughs> Basically, he had to go through something that he's been able to avoid for the past three books, basically. And in this chapter that I just read, he had to go through with it. But let me just say that even though Kai is kind of, I won't say worthless, but he's not able to fight in every way that the other characters can, but he still fought all the way through and so much sass and just like, we love that for him. Yes, bitch, do this. I just, I loved it. Like I was living for it. I was laughing. I was just like, man, I love you so much. I, yes, please continue this. And there was also this chapter about Thorn where basically Thorn is like, did I not get you out of this? Did I not do this? Did I not do that? And the characters are like, uh, actually, nah. and he's like, no, I did this and I'm gonna get us out of here. And I just, I was laughing so much. Like those two characters, I think I like them more than like all of our female heroines. And it's not that I don't like our uh, female characters. They're super strong and I, I live for them. But <laughs> there's something about those two specifically that I'm like, man, I would die for you. I love you with all of my being. Especially Thorn, he's like number one on my list, but like Kai is a close second and I love them so much and they bring so much light to these books i just i love the sass i am living for this and i'm just like oh my god i am going to continue reading i am so enjoying this like it's a long book but it flies super quickly and especially since we're always shifting narrative and we're always shifting the setting as well because we're following different uh point of views and like the characters are all in different parts of luna at the moment personally i really fly through it i don't even see like how many pages i read like i just read 80 pages in like an hour i am loving this so much but right now i'm gonna go take a shower and after that we're gonna continue reading because as i said i am so enjoying this book like i'm so happy that i'm reading this hello everyone today is thursday and it is like 6 p.m i had a productive day but i didn't really vlog today it was my last day at work. I didn't really work today. As you can imagine, on the last day, I didn't have much to do, especially working from home. I'm not really sad. I just, I don't think I realized that it's over. So I don't really know what to think. But I guess now I'm just waiting for my new job to start, which I don't really know when that will be, but I will keep you guys updated, of course. But I did make quite a bit of progress with winter. I don't remember where I was when I last updated you guys, but I'm currently on page 604. And I finished book three. I'm on to book four now. And this morning I read chapter 71. Now, if you've read this book, you know what I'm talking about. But basically I was fangirling, I cried a little bit, but I have been waiting to read this chapter ever since I started this book. I think, honestly, one of the reasons why I wanted to pick this book up at this moment was because of this chapter specifically, and I do not regret my choice. This scene is still as good as I remembered it, and like I said, I teared up a little bit. Oh my god, I kind of needed a moment afterwards, after I read the chapter, because I was like, okay, I was an emotional mess. I'll be honest, I'm not feeling 100% great today. I feel like that might be why I teared up at this scene because it was just everything that I could have hoped for and I knew what was gonna happen but I still loved reading about it and I I just love this book. So much has happened and like the plot like obviously there's only like 200 pages left so like hopefully the plot has picked up by now but so much is at stake and I don't remember the specifics as I've mentioned before so honestly it kind of feels like I'm reading this for the first time. I don't remember a lot of everything that's going on and I'm still like gasping and like oh my god plot twist whenever something happens. I'll be honest I was kind of struggling through some of the parts in this book probably because I was expecting that specific scene as I've mentioned but like the parts about Winter and Scarlet I not that I didn't care but I was like can we power through those I really want to read about Cress, Thorn, Cinder, Eco, and the rest so for most of the afternoon I have watched The Office I actually had my lunch and watched um, episodes of The Office I worked out I did a leg workout and my legs are killing me they're jello <laughs> and uh, right now I think honestly I might continue reading Hello everyone. 
So it is Friday and I just finished reading Winter by Marissa Meyer. Oh my god, this book was just everything. Everything that I could have wanted and more. And I read it before so I knew what to expect but everything felt so brand new because I didn't remember much from it and this ending was just perfect in every way. I'm so happy that I have the graphic novels to go to afterwards because I remember when I finished this the first time I felt lost because I love these characters so much. As I've mentioned before, this is probably my favorite series and I, I knew that this was over and I was really sad that this was over but now I have the graphic novels to dive into. <sighs> I love this so much. I will leave my Goodreads review in the description box down below if you guys want more details because I feel like I can't really talk too much about this book without really spoiling it. So if you want a more in-depth review it will be linked in the description box down below. I, I love this series so much and if you guys haven't read it yet I urge you to give it a try and some people didn't like the first book and I get that but push through oh my god I can't believe I finished this I kind of want to repeat this series all over again but uh today's Friday and so that means that tonight I will be starting the bookie trials royal weekender hosted by Rachel Marie so there's going to be a little interlude in this vlog I don't plan on starting the graphic novels just yet because we're starting the bookie trials and like I'm going to be reading something else for that so I'll be creating a separate vlog for the bookie trials and if you guys are interested it'll be linked above because it will most likely be up by the time you watch this or if not make sure to subscribe because it's going to be the video right after this one hello everyone happy monday so it's been like two days since i have last updated you all and i had a very great royal weekender with my fellow peasants and now it's time to get back to the Lunar Chronicles. I am going to start the graphic novels today, but first I wanted to show you guys my to-do list for today because one of the things that I have been doing during this whole self-isolation, social distancing period of time is creating to-do lists every day to help me stay productive because I am the type of person who can just like crash in front of Netflix and spend the entire day doing that, but I don't feel great mentally when I do that. So I have been creating to-do lists every day to hold me accountable and just make sure that I have a productive day. So here is a to-do list for today. I started it last weekend, which is why I had the bookie trial stuff written down here. But since I didn't use a to-do list this weekend, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> so here are the things that I want to accomplish today. So first I want to watch The Jungle Book because during the bookie trials, I did read the Jungle Book and uh, one of the things that I was supposed to do yesterday is watch the movie but I wasn't really feeling it so I'm thinking of doing it today instead. I want to edit my vlog for the bookie trials because it needs to be up by Wednesday. That's my deadline. I want to continue reading Beach Read because last night I started reading Beach Read by Emily Emery. This is one of the arcs that I got on the galley and I've heard Chelsea and um, Madeline talk about this book and apparently it's like so freaking good and I've seen reviews online and everyone's like this book is so good so I really want Want to read it. I started it so far I'm loving it so I want to continue reading it today. I'm hoping to work out as well because I'm trying to stay active even though I am stuck inside. <laughs> Here we have respond to comments on YouTube. I uploaded a new video yesterday so I wanted to make sure to respond to comments since I know I got some new ones uh, during the night. I already did that which is why it's highlighted and I want to start reading Wires and Nerves. So right now I am watching YouTube videos and then I'm probably gonna start editing the vlog or at least like export my footage uh, from my camera to my computer and then maybe just like put together all the clips and we'll see how much footage I have because I have no idea. Hello so it is the next day and as you may be able to imagine I didn't read much yesterday. I ended up actually watching The Office all day though I do have to say that I did manage to do everything on my to-do list beside reading. So not that bad, but still. But today I want to switch things around. I want to close up this vlog. So I'm finally going to be reading Where's the Nerve, volume one and two. So we're going to be reading both of these today because tomorrow the Owls Readathon starts. Super excited. And I just really want to be able to start editing this vlog and upload it for you guys. So we're going to be reading these books today and we're going to start with volume one. And right now it is like not even 1 p.m. But we're going to get reading because I do really want to read both of these. Oh. 
All right, so I just finished the first volume and I really enjoyed it. It really fixed my craving for the Lunar Chronicles. If you've read the entire series but have yet to read the graphic novels and you miss the characters like I did, highly recommend them so far. I really like the intrigue and uh, it just gives me my fix of all the characters that I love and I'm really enjoying it. We're following Eco. She's the main protagonist. She's the narrator of the story but we get to see all of the characters that we love. So I, I have really enjoyed it so far and I'm excited to dive into the second volume volume right here. However, right now I think I'm gonna do a little bit of editing so I think I'm gonna try to get that done and then we can dive into volume two. But yeah, really enjoyed this first volume. i not surprised but at the same time a little bit because I wasn't sure how this would turn out in a graphic novel format. The illustrations are great and I, I really enjoyed the book so far. All right, so I am done with all of this YouTube stuff and now we're gonna read Where is the Nerve volume two Gone Rogue? Hello everyone, so it is the next day and I have finished reading Fires and Nerve Volume 2 by Marissa Meyer. So I really enjoyed this volume, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, I thought it was action packed, I loved being reunited with my favorite characters, but my main issue with this one was the villain, he felt very unidimensional and I felt like there could have been more. I feel like he only had one thing on his mind and that was revenge and he kept repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and I was like okay we get it. And there's also the fact that one of the main characters, Liam Kinney, has kind of a change of heart at the beginning beginning of this volume and I didn't really understand the reasoning behind it. I just felt like it was a simple excuse to make sure everyone ended up in a pairing and I, I don't know, I just wasn't a fan of that. It just didn't make sense to me. I didn't really believe it. Other than that, I really enjoyed it. I feel like this graphic novel series is a nice extension, like a nice addition to the main series and if you're a fan of the Lunar Chronicles, you're gonna love these. They are a great way to get reunited with your favorite characters, to get back into the world and I really liked reading from Eco's perspective as well. I thought it was a nice Nice breath of fresh air because we didn't get to see much from her perspective in the main series so they're really fun I enjoy them I just don't feel like they're necessary like if you liked the ending of winter and you don't necessarily want to go deeper you don't have to read these I feel like they're really for hardcore fans if you're in your chronicles trash like I am you're gonna love this but Overall, I thought they were a lot of fun and I really enjoyed reading them. But now that concludes our little reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved being back into this world with these characters. I'm so glad I reread this series and to be honest, I kind of want to read it all over again. It always happens to me. Whenever I read Winter, I get this book hangover and I want to get reunited with the characters because I love them all so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!